Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video guys. As you can see on my screen, I have got lmarena.ai open on my browser and if you guys have seen my last video, we used this tool to compare a whole lot of different models which are text models, generation of image models or you know text to image or image to text models and we also looked into Google's nano banana model as well which can generate quite good images with just a prompt and also very very fast but today guys we are not going to look into lm arena we already know that narrow banana does pretty well on the leaderboard right here we can see that but today what we are going to do is we are going to try this nano banana model in google's ai studio so yes guys you can see that it is pretty good in image editing it's pretty good in image generation and today we want to try this model out in google ai studio also, we will explore what all other things you can do with Google AI Studio. They have definitely transformed this platform a lot and they have made it very, very easy for even developers to integrate these tools into their own platforms. So without taking any time further, let's get started with Google AI Studio. So first of all, guys, uh, when you will open the Google AI Studio, it's going to look something like that. That's the URL. I'm going to put this URL in the description below. You will get few options on the left hand side. The first option is obviously the chat option, which is the most basic option that you can get where you can just chat with the model. You can just ask it something like, for example, you know, uh, write a letter for me to demand a leave from my manager, right? So this is like pretty straightforward, just chat model and you can see that it works very, very good. And here also you can see that uh, you can even get the code where you can use this code and integrate this in your application. And then you can, you know, chat with the model itself through your application and generate these type of results. Here also you can see that uh, we are actually using the uh, nano banana model right here and we can go to the advanced settings and we can change some of the settings if you want to. Okay, so that is the first option which is the chat option. The second option that we have in Google AI Studio is the stream option. Okay, so you can actually talk to the Gemini model live, right? So let me talk to Gemini model for you. So click on the talk option. You can even click on the webcam option, which I'm not going to do right now. You can even share your screen and then ask Gemini to do something for you, which is also pretty cool. So, you know, let's click on the talk option first. So, right. Okay. Hey, Gemini, can you write a email for me to demand a leave from my manager? And let's see if it actually hears me. Yes, I can hear you clearly. Okay. How can I help you today? Can you please write an email for me to demand a leave from my manager? Sure. I can help you draft an email to request leave. Could you please provide the dates you'd like to take off and the reason for your leave? I want to take a leave tomorrow and uh, because I'm, I'm not well. Okay. Here's a draft email you can send. Subject, leave request for tomorrow. Date, dear manager's name. I am writing to request leave for tomorrow. Date, due to illness. I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. I have completed all my urgent tasks and will be available to answer any pressing questions if needed. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you guys that Google has a stream model that you can just chat online or share your screen online and get the responses from it. And you can use your own webcam, you can use your voice, you can share screen, which is pretty cool. The next option that we have in the Google AI studio, which is the main option that we are going to use today is trying the nano banana model, trying the image gen model and all these cool options that they have. So if you click on the try the nano banana option, you can see that now I can write into this prompt and it's going to use uh, a nano banana uh, to generate the image for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my LM arena and uh, I actually no, sorry, I'm going to just write here that create 
an image where a banana eats a dinosaur okay which is pretty crazy let's see uh, what it generates and also how much time it takes it does take few seconds but you can see that it generated an image for me now i can even ask it to change this image of it can we make dinosaur eat banana instead okay and you can see that it is now generating the image and it is should be able to give us something okay so this is what i wanted to show you guys that the although the model is very good very fast given very similar prompts so for example like banana eating a dinosaur or dinosaur eating a banana it generates me the same image and in fact even if i when i ask it to change the resolution of the image so can we make the resolution as a youtube thumbnail uh and even if when i ask it to change the resolution of the image which i have tried before i'm pretty sure it's going to give me the same image so what i have noticed about nano banana is that it is pretty good in the go right it gives you the same image so what i've noticed about nano banana is that it gives you very good first image but when you start to counter question it and you start to ask it uh, to edit it or to you know change the resolution and all that once it has generated an image it gives you the pretty much same image however if you already have an image then you can definitely edit right so let's say if i want to upload this image right so this is an image that i want to upload let's say i upload a lead code video uh, thumbnail right so let's say this is my thumbnail right and this was one of my videos chat gpt insane feature so i will just say edit this image and make the robot more more you know more flashy let's say so let's see if this is able to edit the image well and you can see that it has started to work also guys on the top it gives you the number of tokens also so it gives you the number of tokens uh, that are being used to edit this image or to change this image okay so you can see that it's pretty good in editing the image it did make the robot more flashy it added some blue lines into it so and the resolution didn't change it was pretty much exactly the same image made it a little bit better but when it generates the image on its own and you try to modify that image then nano banana doesn't work that well so this is what i wanted to show you guys then if you go back to generate media not only you have got the option of nano banana you have got the option of image gen as well so you can generate images with image gen and image gen guys is not a model where you can just generate the image uh, uh it is not a model where you can uh, you know generate a whole lot of images uh it gives you a certain number of tokens and afterwards once your limit expires you have to have a gemini api key for that i'm not sure if my uh limit has expired but i can definitely try it out for you image gen gives you a better option so let's say if, if i go back to nano banana it doesn't give me any option of the resolution but if i go to imagen i can actually choose the youtube thumbnail resolution and then i can uh, you know create an image so create a you thumbnail for a lee code video okay let's say if i ask that and now i have given it the resolution as well so it should generate an image for me while it is doing that i can show you what i already generated so you can see that this was an image uh, which i generated with image gen 4 and which was pretty good i mean i gave it the uh, one is to one aspect ratio it gave me the exact ratio and if you have selected the different ratio it would have given me a different one okay and you can see it generated with the correct ratio so uh, i think uh, you can also notice that the thumbnail is very 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 bland here it's not very flashy it's not very cool it doesn't have a lot of animation and cartoonish theme going on so image gen doesn't 
score well in that area it gives very you know very crisp sort of images so uh, nano banana is very very creative but image gen does give you some few options which you might need and then guys uh, if you go back to generate media you not only have the option of create using uh, you know these models you have uh, some already created examples as well which you can also try out in this gallery okay and then obviously you have got gemini speed generation which i think it already had before lyria real time and view i have not tried those once i try those i will make a video on that okay now let's go to the most interesting option which is the build options right so we guys are developers we need to build apps we want to actually create our own applications and that's where the build app will come into feature you can see that you can just write here your prompt and it's going to start creating the application for you i myself have tried one of the already created application i'm going to show you that which is uh, this one and that's called paint a place so all you have to do is give it a location so let's say i give it um, you know somewhere in new york let's say new york or let's say big ben right let's go to london and say big ben and it selects uh, mostly usa by default so fine let's select big ben road river view usa and you can see that it gives me some sort of image where there is some big ben somehow but yeah it's not perfect but it creates an application for you okay and uh, it does that in like almost minutes so in like two minutes i had this entire application i can preview it i can look into the code here i can edit this code i can share this application i can store it in a github repository how cool is that guys and not only that you can actually deploy this app i have not tried all of these options but i would give you guys an opportunity to do try this out and if you like these options please do write down in the comment section what all you enjoyed about building the apps in google ai studio pretty much like firebase ai but i think google ai studio might be better than that okay so that was all about google ai studio guys in this very short video we have chatted with the model in text we have chatted with the model in audio on live we have actually created media with it using you know two models uh, image gen and nano banana both of them we have tried also editing the images and you can see all of this you can do in a very short amount of time all in a single website that is google ai studio okay so that's what i would recommend you all guys to try it out as well if you did like this video and you learned something from it please do not forget to like this video and share this with your friends if you have any questions comments suggestions feedback for me please do write down in the comment section below i would be really happy to address them in the end guys if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos i'll see you guys in the next video guys until then take care and bye bye